Hello everyone, this is the Insomnic, and I am back on Lord of the Craft, and we are about to start an event. You can see the event team member right there as a bat <laughs> flying around, you know, that, that happens, yeah. We are going to hunt a giant crab in nearby our base in the river. Yeah. <clears throat> Right, and I just met some new people. These are all the people that have gathered to uh, hunt down the crab. I have never met this guy, but apparently he's a co-founder. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of his name a lot, but uh, yeah, in the Skype, but not in character. Don't know what that guy is. Hosper, Vice7, Griff28. Never ever seen them. Silent Slayer is a new member, so I guess lucky for him. That's Baker. It's uh, Varlin's new character. He's apparently the son of Richard. Uh, Sent lit aka Cyrus, who uh, helps on the other server. It looks like we're still gonna be 10 minutes. Alright. Pulls out his. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the giant crab. <laughs> oh yeah, we got an event team member in our guild now. Yeah, Nug. Nug joined us. I don't know if he really delves too much as his character, or he's just ETs uh, almost everything for us now, which is cool either way. Takes out his pipe weed from his pouch and packs the bowl. <clears throat> Lights the pipe weed. Starts smoking. So what are we going to do? Ask Silent Drazont the second. <laughs> Merrick Feldner says my arbalist is ready. <laughs> that just reminds me of my body is ready meme. Don't know why. Um, yeah. I have not checked up on my cactus farm lately. I don't know if that's still around. What the hell does should we warm the butter mean? Where is there a child? All oh, right, you're a child. How old are you supposed to be? Hold on, let me just right click that shit. You're supposed to be six years old. Shit. <laughs> Points at officer. Oh, are ya? Sure, we should. Yeah. Bring in a child. Like, did no one realize that he was? RPing a six year old because his MPM is not set up. Skin's not set up for MPM, so. <laughs> he ignores me. <Minu. laughs> He's like, bitch, please. I can do what I want. Shrugs and continues to smoke. Shrugs at the lack of an answer and continues to smoke. <laughs> That's me blowing out smoke, guys. Right. Oh, VR is here.
I would say, I do enjoy Gurf's skin. Let's make sure I know who all these people are. He's Merrick. Okay. Hello, Vienna. And Vienna's like, oh, why so many people? <clears throat> I have to show it around here. I have more VAs than I've ever had. <laughs> I don't even have a VA. Huh. We're going on a scouting mission and apparently we're taking an army. Just think of... Just think of it as... Practice for... <laughs> newer people. And yeah, that was funny as fuck. Nug just like appeared in front of us. <laughs> oh, I'm kinda tired. Don't know why I slept through most of the day. I slept from like 3 to 5. Yeah, that sounds about right. Which is a long time to be sleeping. Well, I basically slept through most, most of the, the active day. Right, I'm gonna start recording when we get going. And we are off now. Okay. Yeah, I just re-logged just to make sure that my video files will not get corrupted. Still smoking his pipe weed. Still gonna be smoking while I'm walking around here. Art waves his hand, stick close now. And Vienna's like, is just bored. <laughs> Minu's not really expecting anything. This is just like a casual. This is something to do, I guess, while he smokes. And Art does not know where he's going. <laughs> Alright, uh. Watch out for that. Someone just stepped up Arsavis's trap, but you know. You know, whatever. Here's our fallen tree bridge, you know, the ghettoest bridge of all time. Um, that's floating. <laughs> uh, now we're hiking up a mountain here. I don't know how the hell I would be like smoking while doing this, but uh, can't believe I missed that jump. Oh god, there's like a orgy of people here right now. <laughs> A lot of us missed that jump. Ah, stupid mountain climbing bullshit. Why are we going such a complicated route here? I'm either lagging or they all stopped moving. I'm lagging, aren't I? Fuck me. <laughs> Gather at the lake on top. Oh. It's one of my favorite lakes. Okay, good. I'm not the only one lagging the balls here. Anyways. Alrighty. We're all still kind of lagging, though. Right, should I be heading over this way? Oh 
god lag like no other. What is building here? Oh, that's been there forever. Let me relog. Alright, see back from that relog. Hopefully my video file is not getting too corrupted here. And now we're fishing. The crab's carapace is seen sl moving slightly moving forward as it sees the fishing rod cast. Who cast the fishing rod though? The internet did. Puts away his pipe. Right. Um put this pipe weed away. I just already smoked that. Art blinks, holding his staff forward. Richard says, these waters feel very eerie. Um, I put away my pipe. Silence sees the water ripple towards the bank. Vierna hums watching her bobber thingy. Um, Cyrus is like, so, what are we here to scout? Lyneth draws the massive cleaving reaver off her back. Merrick also sees the water ripple, his arbalist aiming at that spot. Oscar Taurus sits on the grass, observing everyone in front of him. The bobber flies down into the water, vanishing, the line ripping. Oh boy. That's, uh, that's not good at all. Take some bread here. So I don't, you know, regen health. Um. Take. <laughs> Pulls out his bow. Hosper jumps back and Richard's like, uh, Art, what did you need me to do? And Virna's like, calm down, people. Big one. She tries to pull against it. It may be, it may be a drowner. I don't know what that is. Merrick said it. Oh, a drowner. Silent places his right hand on one of his swords. And Art takes a step back, holding his staff forward. Everyone back up. And Cyrus is like, calm down, it's just a big fish. And Hosper looks at Richard in anticipation. Richard backs up towards Art, sighing. He puts his staff leaning against the tree. Silent steps forward slowly, looking into the blue water. The crab's swimming legs move back and forth, helping the crab towards the shore. Richard yells, Art said to back up. And Vienna pulls back and stumbles backwards, realizing nothing is on it. Merrick backs up, and Vienna's like, what the... <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> Richard, electrocute the water to draw whatever that is out. The rest of you back away. Um, my eyes widen in shock as I see it. Um, Silent sees the water moving much more now and grabs the hilt of his sword. Silent, back up, mate. Didn't you uh, hear? Oh, whoops, shit, I just met at that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Cyrus pulls his staff down, leaning against it. Richard walks up towards the water, having his two free hands, which are called forth to the vote, being something. The crab emerges from the water, the crab making itself visible to the group. Um... <laughs> Osser walks behind the tree as he peers around it. Merrick aims his arbalist at the creature and silence like what the Virna's like, ooh, lunch, and Richard is able to connect with the whatever thunder shit in ease. With ease, he drew mana, manipulating towards his element, electricity. Merrick's like, whoa, and Cyrus jumps back. He's like, goodness, that's large. Also looks at the giant crab as it crawls from the water. Richard with the electricity formed in between his hands. He released it towards the water, attempting to shock and cinch the large animal to draw it out. Hosper's like, food for months. Um, Merrick backs up very slowly, trying not to lose aim. Vierna says, I call the claws, hang them on the dock. Yeah, I have a dock. <laughs> None of us are that too shocked about it, I guess. Um, Silent grabs both his swords on his back and draws them out. I'm 
notches an arrow in his bow. Um, the giant's legs reach for the shore before it's shocked, letting out a horrid screech as it returns. Oh god. Drops his arrow from shock to the... From shock... From... God, I cannot spell from. From the sound. Art said, damage the corpse as little as you can. He says, drawing his sword as he watches. Picks his arrow back up and re aims it at aims it at the giant crab. Oh damn, fifteen meters long, nine meters tall. <clears throat> yeah, everyone's just like holy shit. <laughs> It looks up at the giant crab with all. <clears throat> huh. At least it isn't a spider, Vierna says. <laughs> Everyone's just commenting on how big it is. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways, um. <laughs> God, I'm mature, I can't stand myself. Should I shoot at it? Art. <laughs> Look at this. Like it's not that big. The crab remains in the water, retreating as it's shocked by the mage's bolt. Huh. You would think that would make it come out of the water. Silent looks on as the giant crab splashes water up onto the bank. Bloody hell, shock the water to force it out, he says, watching calmly and observantly. That does not sound calmly and Okay, anyways, Mirna pulls out a Danish. She ties the end of the line around the Danish, casting it out. And Richard says, I did. Uh, Merrick moves forward, keeping aim, and Luna says, I am more than that or something. The crab's legs reach onto the shore, slowly pulling itself out of the nasty lake water. Valmy well, just walked into this. Um, ready on your command to fire, Art. Also huddles behind a tree more, though still watching with his left eye. I, I really like how Valmy Valmy just literally walked into this. Um, readies both his swords. God, why the silent double wield? Watching as the crab moves out of the water. The crab emerges from the water, dripping in filthy lake water. Thunder stomps are heard as it advances. <clears throat> Art says, remember, he says, brandishing his sword. Damage the specimen as little as you can. Oh dear, we're all, like, reacting to this now. Aims his arrow at the head of the at the eye of the crab. Um, shall I shoot it? Um, fires, fires his arrow aiming at the right eye. Merrick fires the bolt, aiming to hit the crab's right side, and I fire my arrow, aiming at the right eye. So, yeah. That's, um, that should be good. That's happening. Antennas twitch slightly as it stomps forward, shaking the ground with a thunderous stomp. Oh, nice, I hit it. 
Um, Silen swings his sword at the lowest joint on the crab's front right leg. The arrow flies at its right eye stalk, piercing it in the the beast to letting out another screech of pain. Um, Vienna keeps fishing for some reason. The crab's eye stalk falls to the ground, the creature ignoring <laughs> Vienna's Danish. <laughs> Yay, I did something. Lilith charges past Artemic with her cleaver trailing behind her. She turns her whole body around the momentum, swing close to contact with the nearest articulate joint. I'm not even sure what that means. <laughs> All I know is she ran at him and aimed at an articulate joint. Grabs another arrow and aims it at the crab's other eye. Silent whacks against its leg, hardly weakening it, weakening it, uh, weakening it, only enraging it. Oh, Cyrus's broken illusion produces a loud crack and a bright flash. He lays unconscious. Very nice. Valmir charges forward, swinging his long sword horizontally at the lowest joint on the right leg. Elect Richard, the electricity between the sword, conducting it throughout and preparing to jolt the electricity from the sword if need be. Oh. Grabs another arrow and aims it at the crab's other eye. Luna's sword makes a small gash on its right leg, causing it to stop once more, shaking the ground. Um. Grabs another. Yeah, I'm just gonna retype that. Grabs another arrow. Is it at the remaining eye? <laughs> Vienna just keeps fishing with the Danish. Why? Richard stumbled off his valance, although the sword still had the electricity formed as it was already finishing forming. Art stumbles at the earthquake or earth shake, gripping his sword tighter. Don't charge blindly. Um, Valmir's long sword pretty much bounces off its leg, not damaging it much. Fires his arrow at the remaining eye. Fires his arrow, hoping to. Hit to the remaining eye <laughs> in the Skype chat right now. <laughs> Art's just like we all got crabs, and they're just like, "Yep, damn it, Art gave us gave all of us crabs." <laughs> oh, I got this other eye stock too. The crab's left eye stock falls as it is shot off by Minu's arrow, blinding it. It's blind now. Both, uh, I got both, not bot, I got both, uh, I got both of its eyes. The crab swings its right cloth forward at Valmir and Silen, trying to knock them over. Right. <laughs> uh, Rich was like, what if it can hear or smell I'm greatly? And I'm just like, right. <laughs> um, rams, oh, Valmir Vol rams into the crab's claw with his full body to attempt to soften the blow from hitting Silent. Oh, Silent, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Silent. Silent dodged it. Alright, okay. I hope he won't dodge everything. Silent watches his bomb ears throw him back. Yeah, I don't think you can soften a blow from a crab by jumping into the blow. I don't think that's how physics works. 
is is it I think that makes it not make it worse yeah I'm pretty sure that doesn't do anything it's okay guys I took I took um just regular physics in school this year I learned a lot you know I ended up with a B it was good it was good um art says we can shock it to death he says circling around the area slowly Vienna brings her arm forward quickly, cracking the whip in front of it, hoping to distract it. Merrick asks, anyone have a spear? The crab's claws swing about in random arcs, hoping to hit anyone too close to it. Doesn't look like... that good at hearing or smelling should I break character cuz I kind of want I want me to be a little bit more tanky I guess Lwyneth's strike succeeds, ripping a large chunk off of the crab's body. Richard's trying to focus again for a thing. Archers aim for the weak spots I make. Okay, then. Do not damage the specimen, he says, stepping forward with the staff raised. <laughs> and Vienna's like, crush it. <laughs> then, how do we... Can't spell. How do we defeat it? Art. The crab continues to stop, shaking the ground in an attempt to force them to lose focus. Silent looks at Lunith and says, Elf, I need you to throw me onto its back. Silent, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Stumbles and trips on his ass. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the crab continues to blindly swing towards Lineth and Silent with its left claw. Um, quickly gets up and grabs another arrow Richard aims the cr aims towards the crab releasing his uh, electricity that was stored in his sword fires his arrow at the spot where Wineth took out a chunk Richard's electric bolt flies at it hitting with precision burning it slightly and sending the Bolts throughout his body, the crab continuing to blindly swing at Lunith and stomp. Oh boy. Stumbles from the stomp. The crab lets out a horrifying, painful screech, stomping once more as the arrow hits its weakened spot. I like how I'm, all my arrows are hitting right now. Damn. Stumbles. <clears throat> from the stomp and trips to land right in front of the crab. Oh god, I'm just gonna weaken myself right now. <laughs> just fall right in front of this thing. <laughs> that rose is in my way. Um, I just offered myself up to you, Nug. Tries to quickly get up before the monster can stomp him. 
Fearless asking if the crab has a soft underbelly. <laughs> oh, that's the weak spot. Nice. Nope, Silent, you cannot determine that. Tries to quickly get up before the monster can stop him. And the crab swings its claw at Minu's area blindly. Oh god. Is hit from the... Is hit by the crab's claw. And goes flying. <laughs> um, shit. We. <laughs> oh, whoops. Um. So yeah. Lands. Lands some feet away. On a tree. Knocked out. Reading this. <laughs> um, okay, so we've decided that side. What the fuck, Enderman? That's why I do not like Enderman. Alright, um. Merrick, er, uh, I guess we decided that he is on, uh, what's his name, Silent is on the crab's back, but he doesn't really even feel it, not even reacting. Arts like, get off his back lest you get zapped, he growls. Richard, zap it again. So me and Cyrus are the, are in the knocked out club here, <laughs> both of us knocked out. Um, sorry, hit my mic, um. Silent grabs onto the rim of the shield behind the crab's eye stocks. What the fuck is that? Um, the bolt fly or er, Merrick's bolt flies, piercing its right leg, embedding itself. The crab screeches once more, continuing to shake the ground with its thunderous stomps. Um, Richard looks towards the big mess and he's focusing mana again. Lunith backs up. Cyrus mumbles incoherently, still rather unconscious. Vienna stumbles. And the, behind the cab, crab landing under its back, un, uh, landing under its back under shelter. What? Um, Richard is thrown off balance as he stomped, as he's oh yeah, he got off focus again. Monsters <laughs> looking at unconscious Cyrus. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Walmir spreads his legs as the ground tremors. <laughs> Um, Silen slides around the back of the shell, then swings around, still holding onto the shell rim. With on the shell rim, with his left hand dangling in front of the crab's face, the crab continues to shake and stomp, trying to make a weak attempt to throw Silen off. And <laughs> Lunas is asking if he can take out a leg. Um, Vienna eyes widen. She realizes that the crab's other side is not soft. Richard's trying to get thunder magic again. Do what you need to. Get off the fucking crab and this shit. <laughs> mm. Um, uh, Valmir takes the sword, uh, aims at, swings at the joint of some leg. Virna is under the crab. She attempts to get into a crouching position to stable herself. Richard's trying to call more electricity. Um, as the sword flies at its mouth, it makes the rather stupid decision to bite at the sword. Um, wow, Richard just unleashed a huge amount of electricity onto the crab and everyone near it. So, um, Vienna and uh, Silen. The large bolt zaps it, frying it alive. The bolt's traveling through it throughout its body, killing it. Nice. Um, Richard fries the crab alive. Its antenna no longer twitching, its claws no longer swinging. The crab is dead. Do I not get anything? I like shot out two of its eyes, or both of its eyes. Yeah, two. Uh, okay, I shot out both its eyes. 
and then I shot a shot it again. I like hit it three times. Come on, guys. <laughs> I think I I I uh, I uh, think I um I should uh, deserve something. No, I don't actually. I don't care. Um, hospital. Oh yeah. Thanks, Snug. I think I'm gonna emo brick. I think I yeah. If I get tossed by, if I get hit by a giant crab. And is flown back into a tree a couple dozen feet. <laughs> Merrick's like, looks back to the tree thinking just to help him later. I think I'm gonna emo breaking a rib? Broke a rib? Broke an arm? Um what should I what should I what should I have broken? I'm pretty sure that's a lot more painful than the movies look like. Broke a rib and is... Oh, Richard complimented my shooting. Yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say broke a rib. I broke a fucking rib. What are so good about the eyes of the crab? I really, really hope that they do not just leave me behind. <laughs> like, I really hope they don't just, like, bounce without... This happened last time I was at, like, an event with us. I, like, passed the fuck out because I hit, I hit my head on a stone pillar. Which I assume would knock you out, but everyone just left me behind. I'm just like, alright. So I had to like wake up. <laughs> oh, Vierna woke up. <laughs> Wakes up and yells, get the crab away. Oh, no one gives me any attention when I'm knocked out, but everyone rushes to Vierna. I mean, I guess that's fair. She is on more. She's active a lot more in the Delvers than I am. Are they really going to leave me behind right now? I swear to god if they leave me behind, I'm going to be so mad. I shot out both of its eyes. Come on, I actually contributed to this. <laughs> so no one can see me <laughs> because I went flying. God damn it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't get left behind! Has a borkin rib. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, medical RP. This is only my second time I have needed to be patched up.
This should be easy enough. Oh, I guess this isn't that bad for Hosper. For a man of Hosper's caliber. <laughs> um. Right. Looks like they're getting the logistics of a. Uh, getting the crab back to base. Um, Hosper places one hand near the broken ribbon, the other against Minu's larges. Or large cuts. Okay, larger cuts. Hosper closes his eyes for a short prayer. I don't even know what it is, Hosper. It's a 250 year old elf male. Alright. Assuming he's a dark elf. Hosper's palms begin to glow, shedding light in the near proximity. <coughs> Groans loudly as he wakes up. After. Oh, Hosper's light then moves around the broken ribbon, collects near, cuts and bruises. That's some really nice healing magic, I have to say. <laughs> what the bloody hell? Bloody hell happened. Hosper's light then sets the bone while the bruises shrink and cuts are replaced by scar tissue. Oh, sweet. Winces a bit as he feels his rib get back in place. <clears throat> is clutching where the rib, where the broken rib was I feel a, a lot better mate thanks uh, stands up stands up slowly Hosper says, I promise it shall only hurt for a few hours. Well, better than a few weeks. Slowly climbs out of the tree. Hosper says, but it may be best to get some rest rather than moving this crab. Nods, I probably f for the best. I'll see you, chaps, back at base. Slowly starts to make way back. Ow, 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 ow. I literally just got a rib, like, just like, just with magic, just, just like ripped back, and not ripped, like, put back in place. Damn. I'm gonna let them worry about carrying that fracking crab back to base. <laughs> oh, 
Osper goes back to base too. I know right now that I'm literally just jumping around in the tree, but uh, there's no real way to get down from that mountain except to like ridiculous climbing and I do not feel like dying from missing, which has actually happened to me on that exact mountain before. We Oh look, broke a foot. <laughs> um, ow. Right oh. Let's cross back this uh ghetto bridge and um I think I'm gonna call it a day now, yeah. Thanks for watching everyone and uh peace out.